morning everyone. My name is Manish. I am in second degree black belt, international coach and player. Taekwondo is a Korean martial art found by General Choi Yomi in the year of April 11, 1955. Meaning of Taekwondo. DAE stands for jumping or flying to kick or smash with the foot. KWON denotes chiefly to punch or destroy with the hand or the fist. Devo means an art or the way. In Taekwondo, there are six color belts. They are white belt, yellow belt, green belt, blue belt, red belt and black belt. There are ten stages to reach black belt. They are white belt, yellow stripe, yellow belt, green stripe, green belt, blue stripe, blue belt, red stripe, red belt and black stripe. These are the 10 stages to reach black belt. Now, the meaning of white belt. White belt signifies the innocence of a beginner who has no previous knowledge of Taekwondo. Yellow belt meaning. Meaning of yellow belt. Yellow belt signifies the earth from which plants, sprouts and takes it through as Taekwondo foundation is being laid. This is the meaning of yellow belt. Now, let's start the class with the bow. Before we start the class or finish the class, always be with the teacher with the bow. I'll teach you how to bow. Okay, close your feet. Keep your leg in a V-shape. Hands up. Close your fist on my three counts. One, two and three. Bend your hands down. Your elbow should not touch your ribs. Keep it a bit close and away. Turn your palms a bit down. Take your hands a bit bent. Stand still. This is called Shriya. Shriya means in English it is called attention stance. In a Korean language it is called Shriya. When I say Kwingi, Kwingi means you need to bend a bit and say Taekwon to your teacher and come up. This is how you show respect to your master teacher in Taekwon. Stand straight Shriya. You need Taekwon. Now before we continue with the class, we always take a pledge. It's called Students Oath. Then we close your feet. Hands down, put your right hand up, make sure your shoulder to elbow, your hand is in a straight line, and from your elbow to your fingertip in a straight line. It should be in an L shape and your thumb should be bent. All the fingers have to be closed, only the thumb has to be bent, other hand next to your thighs. Stand straight, now students will start. I shall observe the tenets of Taekwondo. I shall respect the instructors and seniors. I shall never misuse Taekwondo. I shall be the champion of freedom and justice. I shall build a more peaceful world. Put your hands down. There are five principles which Taekwondo students will follow. It's called five step, five tenets. Courtesy, integrity, perseverance, self-control and indomitable spirit. Now, when I say Jumi, you need to take your left leg out and stand in a one shoulder distance width and keep your both the hands in front of your belt knot. Jumi. This stance is called Narani Jumi Soli. Parallel ready stance in English. In Korean language, Narani Jumi Soli. Narani means parallel, Jumi means ready, Soli means stance. This is how you, you need to stand in Jumi. In a short form, we call to be very stand, stand still. Chirir, sorry, to be. When I say chirir, I mean both the legs in. Chirir, to be. Chirir, to be. Let's start with some bouncing exercises. Again, start bouncing. Make sure you don't touch your heel to the ground. Your heel should be up and bounce with the ball of the foot. Keep bouncing, don't stop. Now on my count, when I give a count, try to jump maximum high and again continue with the box. One, jump and maximum high and again continue with the box. We'll do this for 10 times. 
20 counts, we need to jump forward and back foot. Do it for 20 counts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Keep bouncing, don't stop. Next 20 counts, you need to jump left and right. You need to do it for 20 times. Start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. Keep on singing. Don't relax, keep on seeing. Now every card you need to jump maximum height and rotate your arm. In a jump only you need to finish rotating your arms, not this thing. This is wrong. When I give a count, jump, rotate, jump, rotate. When you are in the head, you need to finish rotating your arms. Keep bouncing. We will do this for 10 times forward and 10 times backward. Start. Forward rotation. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Watch. Don't stop. Give your best. Next 10 cards will be backwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Keep on seeing. Now 30 times, please do 30 times jumping jacks. You need to take your hands out and in. You need to do it for 30, three seconds. Three, two, one, start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 20, that's it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, but just few more exercises, keep bouncing. Forward spin. Keep your right leg forward, left leg forward. Like that. Keep changing. We do it for 20 counts. Start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Bouncing. Next 
next one, it's going to be a little tricky. For few of you, it's very easy. For some of you, you might get confused. Just observe both the legs out, then right leg forward, out, then a left leg forward, out, right leg forward, left leg forward. Like this. We are going to do it for 20 rounds. Start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. Keep bouncing. Don't relax. Bounce. Keep your body in hand. Keep bouncing. Next time you are going to do it for 10 rounds. It's going to be a little more tricky. Some of it might be easy also. Ricky bouncing. I'll show the demo. Both the legs out. Then right leg forward. Both the legs out. Left leg forward. Out. Right. Out. Left. When you swing your hands, it's going to be seen. Then in. Then right leg forward. Then the second time, left leg forward. We are going to do this for 10 rounds. Start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep on seeing. Next ten counts, you need to jump, touch your toe without bending your knee. Without bending your knee. You need to jump and touch your toe for 10 counts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Let's have 
30 seconds of water break and then we will continue the class. So let's move type 1. Now I am going to teach you four direction punch. It is also called Sergeant Jurigi in Korean language. Four direction punch is the basis for all the patterns and it is also called a shadow fight which you are going to perform attack or a defense with an imaginary opponent. So now I am going to teach you only the foot movements of four direction punch. In four direction punch there are 7 plus 7, 14 movements. So now I am going to teach you the first 7 movements and only the foot work of four direction punch. And uh, this is Samaika, first degree black belt. Now she is going to perform on my cards. So everyone can practice along me. I need to perform in my three counts. In, a, in my, on my three count, you are going to keep one step. Step by step, you are going to do. Hands on the hip. One, take your right leg in with a left leg knee bend. Two, right leg forward stretched. Three, keep your body weight 50% on the back leg, 50% on the front leg. Your back leg knee should be straight. Bend, front leg knee should be bent. This is called walking stance. Gunan Sogi. In Korean language, it's called Gunan Sogi. Now you need to turn towards your left and take your right leg in and step back. Two. Now, same way you are going to do in all the directions. Now we are going to do forward. One, two, three. Now, on my third count, you need to bring up. Whenever you, whenever you land your feet, your feet and your brain should be at the same time. One, third, two, right again, three. This like that. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. For one more set with the same three counts. One, take your right leg knee in. Two, three. One, turn left. Two, right leg knee in. Three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Three. One, two, three. 
Take one. One step back. Go to the place. Take one. See you all in the next session.